first Mag viewers, uh, my name is Hanet and I'm here today to show you some movements um, to practice the techniques with me. I have here Andrea Terence, he's my professor and he'll be helping me to show you a couple of techniques. So the techniques we're going to do today um, uh, are going to be like a basically three techniques, the leg drag, the X pass and the counter of the position, okay? So if you guys pay attention, okay, once I'm doing the position, okay, I'm going, I'm going to use my, my body to like block the person's leg, okay? So the person won't be able to move this leg until I complete my position. So I'm going to use my body to trap the person's leg, leaning on top of the person's leg, okay? Then I go, hand across, and knee. You can also use your elbow on the ground as well, okay? So... One, two, drag, step, step. Lean on top of your partner's leg. Okay, now, hand, elbow, switch your base. Okay, guys, now, the second situation will be the counter of the leg drag position, okay? So my partner on top will start the, uh, the leg drag. One, two, bring the leg across. So you cannot wait for the person to go to the side to put the hand and the knee on the ground. Otherwise, you'd be, like, in trouble. So you have to react before the person finish the position, okay? So as soon as the person drags your leg to the side, okay? So the person drags your leg to the side, I will use my other leg, okay, to bring across. And we're going to use the same drill as we did in the beginning, okay, the spin, okay? So raise your hip, so we can use your hand for the beginners, and finish like this. And from here, you can start your guard again, your positions again, okay? So one more time, your partner's going to the leg drag, Okay? As soon as the person brings your leg across, pass your other hand over, le other leg over, raise your hip, and spin. Okay? Come back with your both feet on the hip. Okay? So drilling the technique, okay? So you're going to go, your partner will go to the position, leg drag, cross your leg. Okay? So imagine you want to hold the person with your feet. Okay? So your toes will be very active in this position. Okay? So raise your hip, spin. Spin, spin, spin. In the end of the position, you're going to come back with your feet square on your part partner's hip. Okay? So that's the count. One, two, drag. Okay? Hold. Hold. Toes very active. Raise your hip. Spin. And come back. Okay? Cross. Spin. Always towards the bottom leg, okay? Like, like, like the drill we did in the beginning. Okay, so bottom leg, that's the side you go. So our third technique today will be the X pass. Okay, so for the X pass, I want you guys to hold with one hand on your partner's collar. Okay, don't forget when you're like in a, this situation here, you cannot leave your, your hand too deep inside because the person can get you in a triangle or even like an arm bar from this position here, okay? So, once you grab the collar, okay, grab the person's lapel, you're going to bend your elbow a little bit, okay? So make sure you have your elbow not deep inside, okay? A little bit outside. My other hand, my opposite hand will grab on the person's leg, on the person's pants, right next to the knee. And this is like a, a people like always like ask me, so why do I have to control on the side of the knee? Can I control on top of the knee? It's better if you can control on the side because you have more leverage to push the person's leg to the side. Okay, so one hand on the collar, the other hand on the pants next to the knee. Same side you have the hand on the collar is the side you're going to step back. Okay, so to do this position, <coughs> you're going to go use your hips to move the person's, forward, the person's leg forward a little bit and then you're going to step back with your leg. Okay, so we'll be basic like this. Control the collar, control the pants. Okay, so move forward and then step back and push the leg to the side so it will be almost at the same time once you move forward you're going to step back and push the leg to the side and that's why we call this position the X pass because we finish with our arms in the X position okay so one hand on the lapel elbows bend okay the other hand control the, the pants next to the knee okay so hips forward if you see my base here I have my, my knees bent and I have my position like in a squat position. Okay, so here, here. Move forward, step back, push the leg to the side. Okay, so we basically want to pin this leg on the ground. 
But before you pin this person, the person's leg on the ground, you're going to bring your, uh, the leg up, the leg which is uh, up, and you're going to pass your shin across the person's leg. Now, push the person's leg down. Imagine you want to pin the person's leg on the ground. And then bring your forearm on top of the person's leg. I will only let go of the pants once I have my leg, my arm, my forearm on top of the person's leg. Okay? So once I have the position here, then I can let go of the pants. Okay, my free hand now goes to the biceps, okay? Or even like a control in the neck. But make sure you hold something here to not allow your partner to roll, okay? And then you're going to have to use another position to pass, okay, here. Now, knees on the ground, walk to the side on your knees, okay? And finish on the side of control. I hope you guys enjoyed the technique today. And any suggestions, comments, you can also uh, contact Grace Mag for more information. And thank you guys for watching.